Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Elden Ring. You'll never guess where we are. Still. You could probably guess where we are. Still. But maybe not for long. Who knows? Maybe we're just going to see like all the rest of it real quick. In the next little 15 minutes or so. And then boom. Shadow keep solved. Storeroom empty. Um not very attentive. There we go. Thank you, and thank you for that. Carrion Thrusting Shield. It's an odd one. Silver Thrusting Shield embedded with glint stones enables the wielder to attack and guard simultaneously. Once wielded by Rolana, the Twin Moon Knight, during her soul entry into ritual combat, a demonstration of fidelity to the Erd Tree. Hmm. I wonder why this is in here. Interesting. And now here's a ladder, and I'm guessing this is the tall ladder that I was... Yeah, this is what I was hoping to reach. Hoping to figure out how to reach. I'm relieved it didn't involve... tons of wacky jumps, or at least it hasn't yet. Can't remember if I've been on that floor yet. I feel like no. Also, pretty sure I've not been here. Fairly certain of this. Goodbye. Have fun. What do we got up here? Oh, hello. Nope. Got some bullying to do out here. Hey, can you drop a set of gloves? It's like the one thing I'm missing from you guys' set. Stingy. What else? We can jump down, I guess, from here. But to what end? Hmm. Fire Serpent. Ooh. That's a spell, I think. An incantation, even. Incantation of the Fire Knights under Mesmer the Impaler's personal command. Launches a flame with a serpentine coil. When the flame they received from Mesmer would not find purchase within them, the Fire Knights relied on fire incantations to honor their bond. Neat, and that one's affordable. That one I can actually use. Gonna have to try some more of those incantations as I'm able. Have I been to this part? I think I have, because I think that's... Yeah, I like ran out along that and then... Yeah. Yeah. I think this has enabled me to reach most everything that I wasn't able to access before. Maybe that's wishful thinking, but yeah, like, because I've been over there, I grabbed an item off that, I've been around there. I think I've been up there. I think that's, like, further up there goes toward where a boss room probably is. Hello.
This might be something. Dang, another one. So generous. Where's this elevator gonna go? Hmm. Well. Further up. Okay. Further up to here. Interesting. We're in the rafters now. And they got bats up here. Not as much a fan of that, but... Could be worse. Could definitely be worse. Huh, they have sculptures of bats. But then also real bats. I wonder, did they find the bats up here and then just decide to go ahead and embrace it? Or did they sculpt these, get them all as part of the architecture, and then have a very ironic infestation? You bats are here to be, like, a threat that'll knock you off of these rafters, I feel like. I do not appreciate this hazard. Hmm. Shiny. a lot up here. There's a shiny we can drop down to, probably. Eh. I don't appreciate this bat. Don't want to drop down for that yet. But I do want it. There's another shiny up there. Goodness, and another elevator. And I'm blocked on this side. Okay. Think I'm gonna drop down. Wrath from afar. Ooh. An Erd tree incantation discovered in the realm of shadow. Fires a golden shockwave that knocks back nearby foes. Charging increases the size. When the Elden Ring was shattered, the people of the Realm of Shadow felt it too, and feared it as a sign of the Erd Tree's wrath. So interested in the relationship between these two realms and the history. Very excited to do a lore dive once I'm finally done and spoiler safe. What are you doing up here? Well, I guess you could ask me the same, but I thought that was obvious. Looting. What are you doing up here? Uh-oh. Don't like that. Ugh. 
This is a very bad place to have to fight one of you. Eesh. Cannot let you get in an attack. <sighs> From the sound of things, my build is definitely making these fire knights way easier. Those who go in here with more caster type builds apparently have struggled. Don't fly above the frisbee. Come on. There's a whole part two to the attack and you're missing it. Or it's missing you. Hmm. I should at least check. No bat. Mind your own bat business. How'd that not kill you? There we go. Thank you, Frisbee. I should look over there. Even the rafters to this place are... full of so many little hidden things. And branching paths. One could easily lose track of what all they had and had not done. Nice being back on solid ground, but... Where is this? And an elevator. Okay. There are more elevators. Huh. There are more elevators in the rafters still I need to look at, but... I gotta see what this does. It's a very tiny elevator. Um... I cannot believe... How many places this lets you go? This is how we're gonna get that door open. Or, no, you can't open the door. Never mind. Or maybe you can. What if? Alas. But... Might this how we might this be how we get to the other backyard? Maybe. Maybe. I think it might be. Maybe I'll just check my map and yeah, look at this. Cool. Okay, let me grab this, but then... I need to take the elevator in the rafters. Before I forget. Then we'll come back. Can't believe this dungeon, man. It's the most vertical... Dungeon they've ever done. And the vertical part's really only just like a segment of it. There was the whole... Outside of the Shadow Keep we went through to begin with. And then the other outside of the Shadow Keep that we just got to yesterday. And then this, which is just an incredibly dense... Vertical space. And there, yeah, there's a shiny down there. And maybe that's probably where the, yeah, that's where the lift is going to take me, I bet. To the shiny. Let's go see if I'm right.
Just such a different feeling dungeon than all the many, many other FromSoft Souls dungeons I've been through before. How? Hmm. Maybe if we can manage to ride on top of this thing on the way back up, somehow. Oh, I think I know how to do it. Okay, I have an idea. But first... Consider dropping gloves! I want them! Come on. Boo. Thank you. Ah, here's where they keep the paper. Yep, oh, and here's more stone tablets. Goodness. Very heavy library. Have I been on that floor? Probably, but I worry I haven't. Eh. Either there's nothing here, or there was something here and I was here already and got it, but I think there might just be nothing here. Jumping here might have been a mistake. Yeah. Anyway. Back up. And then I think I have an idea of how to get the shiny over here. We're gonna... Lower it. Good. Lower it. Then we wait. Haha! -ha. Genius. Careful. Come on. I don't want to jump over there. Could I? Couldn't you just? Couldn't you just? Come on, man. Yeesh. Careful. Fire Knight Heal Day. Or Hildy. Not sure which. A spirit who belongs to the Fire Knights, an order which answers directly to Mesmer. Hilde swings a slender great sword and casts fire incantations. Hilde was a dear friend to Sals of the Sage, and joined those who urged that the specimens be preserved. Hilde's ashes were enshrined as a charm to protect the storehouse. I could see that being a very potent ally to have. Eh. Okay. We are okay. And I'm going to say we're done up here. I'll even go so far as to say we're done in the storeroom in general, which is definitely not true. I don't think we'll ever be done in the storeroom. We may just have to choose where we give up on the storeroom and finding everything in it. I want to go play in the backyard. Yes. Shadow view. Is that someone on a boar mount I'm seeing over there? Because this sure do look like a arena. A mounted arena of sorts. 
Oh boy. Well. Commander Gaius. That's a cool mount you got. Go, boy. This will be an interesting duel. Wow. Yeah, boy. Kind of hard to hit. Ow, uh... Being mounted up might actually not be the easiest. Way to deal with you. We'll start going that way and then see. Yipes. Whew, yeah, you are kind of hard to hit while mounted up. We might not do that. Yeah, let's try here on the ground. See how that goes. Seems a little easier right now. Bring it. Bonk. Whew. Thank goodness for the shield, huh? Ha ha! Now we're talking. It's a lot of hits, man. Okay. Gracious. <laughs> That is ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> Boy, Frum's animators have fun. <laughs> Someone was real proud of themselves for that. Yeah, don't do a counter to that. That's just a bad idea. Ow. I was blocking. Disagree. Ah. Delayed hit. Alright, we can get this guy. Especially with a little summoned help. It seems like a good weapon to use. Hammer was doing alright. Spells might also work, but... Seems real easy to get punished. With, for any long casting times. Atish kind of always works. So that's always a fallback, but I'm wondering who else might be an interesting... one to try. I need to level up a couple others. A couple others could be kind of fun to make use of. Some of these Black Knight captains and commanders could be decent. I think this is definitely one to try. Maybe not against this boss, but elsewhere. Ornis could be as well. Let's give Yosha a shot on this one. Could be interesting. Okay. Let's mount up long enough to figure out where our runes wound up. Nope. Come on. Trying to grab runes here. Don't be a jerk. Uh, 
Thanks for the distraction, Yosh. You're doing great. Magic damage is doing pretty all right, too. Way to go, buddy. Yeah, I should be doing a lot more jumping attacks against this guy. Go for the staggers. Here we go! <laughs> Whoa! Didn't realize it had a big shockwave like that. Cool. Very neat. And silly, of course. Ow, goodness. Excuse me. Mess him up, Yosh! I haven't tried using this. Eh. Not a lot of them connect, but the ones that do get some alright damage in. Not half as good as what Yosh is doing over there. Almost got him. There we go. Yeah! Remembrance of the Wild Boar Rider. That was cool. Good job, Yosh. Now we're here and we can get back here. Ooh. Is there an enormous coffin back here or is that a building? Or both. Should have a little look around, I guess. And also, read. Both were as elder brothers to the lion, and both were cursed from birth. In spite of, or perhaps because of this very reason, Gaius was both Mesmer's friend and the leader of his men. Hmm. Well, first off, level. Hey, there's our 50 faith. Now we gotta start making decisions again. It seems like the choices, like the main choices at this point are either keep bumping up vigor, which may be a good idea, especially if we're gonna be in for some rough bosses before the end. And I'm guessing we will. Or we can keep strength or faith going further. Both ultimately, but I, I don't know how many levels we're going to manage to get before the game's over. I think that'd... Faith, strength, or vigor, like those three, seem like the ones to keep leaning into, rather than just spreading... Like, spreading more and more thinly across all these different stats. At a certain point, building for more specific strengths seems the better way to go. And I guess strength is probably the better one. If I'm going to, like, choose one or the other. I guess I want faith up at at least 60, because I think that's what I need to do to use most of the incantations available to me. I'll have to check the uh, spell list and see what, like, the... what stat I need in faith to use everything that I'm wanting. And then maybe strength and vigor from there. Tough pick. Well, first, let's ride around real quick. Make sure there's nothing else to this arena. And no other... exits. Yeah, is there a way out through this side? Hmm. Seems no. So the answer for how to get down here is still very much... a mystery. For now, anyway. Uh, 
But we can go over here, and I'm so curious. That's a very big building. This seems like the sort of place another big scary boss would be. And now I guess the question is which... Um. <laughs> Alright, that's a pretty good joke. Hi, what are you doing here? Hi. And also, why also? What are you doing here? What's going on? Um. Whoa. Atena, do you want to say something? Um. Vouch for me, maybe? Goodness. Don't like whatever you're doing there. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, I was really hoping there was a more limited range on that one. Sheesh. Goodness, you're no joke. Gracious. Ugh. What was that all about? Gaius's Greaves. Huh. Black iron greaves made for Commander Gaius. A cruel joke, for he could not wear them. Riding atop the boar he called his other half, Gaius was in fact a warrior of Albinoric extraction. Oh. Interesting. And the sharp shot talisman. A talisman depicting an archer wielding a longbow. Boost attack power of precision aimed shots. The Albinoric archers were in a class of their own, and their deadly long range specialists struck fear into the hearts of men. I bet this still does not make bow builds all that viable. <laughs> kind of seems like nothing's ever going to. Alas. I'm assuming that, like, Mesmer, or at least the main boss of this keep, is at the top of this still, and this is just a different thing. But it is a very big different thing, isn't it? Could be where Mesmer's hanging out, I guess. Or someone equally scary. Or maybe someone cool. Maybe it's just... A nice, cool someone. The Shadow Tree Chalice. Ooh. Huh. Has a lot of fragments. I'm grateful. That's at least another Shadow Tree level or so. And a lot of these tall sunflowers. It's all so cool.
So this is where the blessings from the shadow tree land and are collected. Is this structure all just basically a big... And what's the word for it? It's not a gate. Just a big arch. A big archway for approaching. That's pretty bonkers. I think it might be. Yeah? Yeah, I think it is. Wild. And there's no, like, summon signs or NPCs around that I can spot. What an interesting little corner of this area. And how are we getting over there? It's higher up than this, which is, I guess, a little helpful. Figuring out its relative elevation might help me find where in the keep I need to be looking for an exit. Possibly. Then again, there are a lot of elevators that take you a long way up and down, <laughs> so... Who knows? Well. Didn't even notice that. Also, have mercy for the spirited away shamans. Huh. And an extra, just in case we didn't have quite enough. I haven't the foggiest idea what the spirited away shamans refers to. We're definitely getting a couple of these levels, though. We might be... Nope. I was about to say, I wonder, if it's 15 the max? Might not be. Yowzers. Cool place. Well, I think... Yeah, I think that's probably going to be it for today. Tomorrow, wouldn't you know it, we're still exploring around here, because there is one other place that um, folks were telling me, at least one other place, that folks were telling me I needed to explore a bit more. <laughs> In the dang keep. More to find that I've missed. And who knows, maybe one of these things will lead out here. It really would make a lot of sense for it to be something around here that leads outside to this area. Like, we found something that leads down below and down here, but... Hmm. Hmm. Still a puzzle. Well, anyway, maybe we'll solve it tomorrow. For all you know. <laughs> See you tomorrow. We'll find out together. Bye!